Hey guys, Leslie here, welcome back to my YouTube video. Today I'm going to be giving a matchup for every single S-Class hero within One Punch Man and explaining the connections between them. Uh, this was originally going to be, like this upload was originally going to be Hashirama vs Yorichi with equal stats, but because I'm going on holiday soon and because when this video goes up I will already be on holiday, um, I just don't have the time to make it. So that'll be the first video I'll make when I come back. So this is like a bit easier for me to make, and will be made easier, and will also come out earlier than this one, uh, than the one I actually intended to do. So without further ado, let's go with the runners up, or matchups I considered, but didn't quite make it. Being Metal Bat versus Josuke, Super Alloy Darkshine versus Kirishima, Peg God versus Boro, Atomic Samurai versus Samurai Jack, Metal Knight versus War Machine, Silver Fang versus Hiruzen, and Tatsumaki versus Toph. All these matchups I've either like considered that have they have, they have like a flaw in them or don't have a flaw in them and are just not as good as the matchup I picked. So yeah, let's go on with number one. Puri Puri Prisoner vs Biscuit Olivia from Grappler Baki. They're two buff male anime prisoners who are somewhat flamboyant, who do a lot of fighting with their bare fists and can leave prison whenever they want to, and basically are just in to run the place. It uh, kind of vibes a little bit, but I don't really have much else for uh, Puri Puri Prisoner. Number two, Tank Top Master vs Best Genius. There are two male anime heroes who come from a series where being a, he a hero is a profession, and are in fact two of the strongest heroes among them. They're also centered around clothing as well, being a tank top and jeans. Number 3. Metal Bat vs Casey Jones. There are humans who use sports equipment to fight monsters. Honestly, it, it just vibes a lot off of that alone. Also, Casey Jones was kind of, you know, a big part of my childhood too. Number 4. I didn't really know which one I preferred, so I decided to put both here. Uh, Genos vs Frankie, uh, being two male anime cyborgs, so they're best friends to the main character, who have attacks centered around explosions. The other Genos matchup I really like is Genos vs Raiden. There are two cyborgs who fight for justice and vengeance, and both have a teacher who they deeply respect, being Saitama and Snake. Both of them are quite simple, but I really do like both of them, and I really can't tell which one I like more. Number 6. Flashy Flash vs Minato from Naruto. They're two male anime characters with great statuses of power and are known for their speed, being a ninja and the colour yellow. Number 7. Watchdog Man vs Pucci. Uh, they're two heroes with dog costumes who are extremely strong and act like dogs in both their fighting style and everyday life. They're also both somewhat gag characters in a comedic series with over-the-top humour. Number 8. Super Ally Darkshine vs Luke Cage. They are two street heroes whose skin is hard as steel. Number 9. Pig God vs Fat Gum from My Hero Academia. There are two male anime heroes who come from series where being a hero is a profession, and are in fact two of the strongest heroes among them. Guess where this is going? Uh, they are also most centred around using their heavy weight and body mass to their advantage within their fights as well. Number 10. Drive Knight vs Robot. They're morally grey robotic heroes that function on pure logic and don't have a lot more going uh, on them like, behind the scenes. They make you question what side they're truly on. Not to mention they both come from trope-like superhero worlds and dissect the superhero genre in many different ways. Number 11. Zombie Man vs Deadpool. There are two male uh, uh, heroes who are stereotypically, or use stereotypical weaponry despite their great power. They're, they've both worked on in a lab and are known for their insane regeneration, especially by comparison to their peers. Also, this thumbnail just goes hard, in my opinion. Number 12. King vs Reagan. There are two characters who are considered to be the greatest within their universes, Reagan being considered a master psychic and King being a really, really good fighter. But in reality, they are complete frauds. With, they are completely normal people with not much in the way of physical feats. Instead, they use white lies and trick a blank-faced, uh, overpowered protagonist, being Mom and Zaitama, into making them look OP, when in reality, it's the work of the protagonist that's doing everything. Number 13. Metal Knight vs Kodama. Both of them are given the roles of heroes despite the fact that they're not good at heart. In fact, they barely care about the lives they're supposed to save. Uh, they would not even hesitate to sacrifice a couple lives if it would mean to save a few more. Uh, they also both pilot a high-tech robot equipped with a highly, a highly insane uh, technology. Uh, they contrast with Bofi being an incredibly intelligent person. Meanwhile, Kodama only pretends to be a smart dude. Number 14. Child Emperor vs Gizmo, they're child genius prodigies who use a robot backpack that they use for combat. Number 15, Atomic Samurai vs Drakul Mihawk from One Piece. There are two male anime sword fighters who live in a world with extremely powerful beings, they are extremely skilled to the point where they're one of the highest ranked fighters in their respective verses, to the point where they even have disciples. 
Number 16, Silver Fang versus Isaac the Tarot. They're two old master martial artists who are respected and are considered one of the most powerful characters with a very high rank, Bang being rank 3 of the S-class heroes and the Tarot being the chairman of the Hunter Association. They both get very powerful abilities and techniques which makes them very dangerous martial artists. Both of them have also fought incredibly powerful monsters that are a big threat to humanity, being Garou and Meruem. Number 17, Tatsumaki vs. Omura. I definitely butchered that boy move. They're both regarded as one of the strongest people within their respective stories due to them being a special type of human, being an Esper and an advanced human. Uh, they're Both of them, due to their powers, were experimented on slash researched on when they were kids. Both of them have siblings they really care for since they are their siblings and they're the only blood relatives they have, being F F F Fubuki and Ichika. Uh, because of their past, they tend to be much more overprotective of their siblings, causing their relationship to be a bit complicated. Both of them are part of a peacekeeping organization where their siblings are also in, being the Hero Association and IS Academy. Their personality in combat is also somewhat similar, being both conf uh, confident and cocky due to their immense power, but are still level-headed and smart enough to analyze the uh, opponent and use their strategies. And it's better than Tasmaki vs. Bob, you can't convince me otherwise. And finally, number 18, Blast vs. Skull Knight. They're warriors who work from the shadows to rebel against godlike beings, God and the God Hand. Said godlike beings recruit humans into their army with mysterious items, being cubes and the behillet. Butchered that too. Uh, in order to turn humans to their side when they are at a low point in their lives. These two warriors regularly collect items. The Skull Knight collects the items I said earlier for his swords to use against God Hand, and Blast collects cubes to prevent, uh, prevent God from recruiting more people. Uh, they both can travel between dimensions and appear out of nowhere. Uh, lastly, they also both come to the aid of the good guys when the godlike beings re-emerge to make the guy uh, wanted to dominate the world, being Garo and Griffith, a new member, but they lack the power to actually stop these new members with their newfound powers. And that is it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. This was really short, I know, but these characters don't have that much to go off of by comparison to really deep characters, but if you want to see more videos like this, I'll leave a playlist in the I cards and in the, in the description, and also the, in the end card of this video too. So, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.